there will be flashing lights and it will not be safe for photosensitive people. If you are in this demographic and would like to partake in the content anyway, fret not. I will be making this channel available in its entirety in podcast form, which I will post the link of too in the description. But it will be on the flip side if you're autistic an excellent way to stim so with all of that in mind let's get started shall we hey there freaks and sickos welcome to my campaign now what if i told you that there's a better way to talk to each other over the internet you know the internet, the thing that you're watching this very video on. And unfortunately, I can't really do that through this medium. This is a recording, unfortunately, even though it does feel like I'm present in the room, right? I, I got this parasocial thing down, right? Here is where I rise up and wander around. With boundless whimsy, no longer am I this bulbous bug on the ground. I'm flying, and I'm free. Pure poetry. And I don't mean free as in worthless. I don't even mean free as in cost. Though, anyone can join if they so choose. If you'd like to, you just need to sign. Now let's go up and see what Blue Sky is all about and why it scares Elon Musk. I'm going to give you a closer look and feel around. As we ascend, let's have a look at the man we're leaving behind, Elon Reeve Musk, a name you only know about because his dad was rich. His dad owned an emerald mine in South Africa. His dad was the king of apartheid South Africa. Effectively, in practice, and Elon Musk is the prince of that apartheid. Elon Musk is the apartheid prince. Elon Musk is only successful because of his father's money. He doesn't want you to believe that. He has told Lots of lies about how he doesn't like his dad, and I know they're both in on it. The reason I'm saying such things is because, honestly, I dare Elon Musk to sue me. I dare to be taken to a court and litigate him. I dare for everyone else to do the same thing, because that would be one hell of a discovery process, and I will make sure that happens. I mean, Elon, you skipped out on court yesterday. And if you're such a constitutionalist and believe you have the right to do that, then according to the 14th Amendment, everyone does. But of course, since you are the apartheid prince of South Africa, you do not give a damn about the Constitution of the United States. And neither does your idol Trump which is why you love him so much. The only reason Elon Musk is relevant to anyone whatsoever is because he's scared. He is a man-baby, a coward, a child, a low IQ, low energy, very gullible, easily swayed individual with no real leadership skills, who has never worked a day in his life. The last thing he did that took serious effort was make the skeleton code for PayPal, a site no one should be using anymore. Yeah, I know artists depend on it, but you know what? I know that artists who have no experience in coding could, in a matter of months, make something way better than PayPal. 
on their own. Just a few months, a better service. I guarantee it. It's this kind of knowledge of the work ethic of everyone who is not Elon Musk that scares him the most, that people can now, with and without the help of AI, do some creative destruction of him. They could, on their own, with a resource like my other channel, Open Source Toys, become enlightened and build a better economy, better devices, a better world than this man could ever possibly dream of, which he refuses to do because it doesn't benefit him specifically. I look forward to being served by Elon. I look forward to seeing you in court. And apparently, because you did it, I can do it too. In fact, I'd be even more justified in doing it. Not showing up. I mean, turnabout is player play. You did it. And if you have the right to do it, according to the Constitution, which I value, I hold near and dear to my heart, and you don't, and we all know this. And, oh my god, the more time passes, the more this video loops, the less you care about Elon Musk. Take that energy and grip it as tightly as possible. Because here we are! Of course, I'll be better than that. I mean, if Kamala Harris wins, that means she can. And this is an attitude I'm completely sick of, by the way. So, if I were served by Elon Musk after a Harris victory, of course I'm going to respect it, because hell, Kamala Harris is going to elect real judges who will uphold the rule of law, and the Supreme Court hasn't been doing that. I will continue to criticize the Supreme Court no matter what happens around me, externally, and I will do so loudly. Even if it is illegal. Even if it is something that is punishable by death. You know what? If Trump Republicans, white, fragile men, get to say that they're above the law and get to act like they're above the law, then we sh must all adopt the same attitude as well. That's how we should prepare for the worst. But you only get to do that if you show up and vote for Harris. I'm sure conservatives would love that. We're just following their lead. And if I'm elected to city council in Maple Grove, this is part of my platform to hold these bribed Lugan judges accountable by turning the surveillance state they'd enabled against them. I'm absolutely 100% going to act accordingly as a city council member on behalf of Maple Grove. Okay, boomers? I've said it before and I will say it again. Because of the Dobbs decision and the decision in which they put Donald Trump over the United States and Donald Trump be the United States, the Roberts Supreme Court is illegitimate and state and local politicians, and even federal ones, if they continue to misbehave, need to act accordingly. Nothing to hide, nothing to fear, as they say. If you have the integrity that you're projecting out, I want you to prove it. In fact, it's the same with every attitude. If it's not backed up with evidence, it's fake. And if you're a judge that's claiming to act on behalf of the dead founding fathers that you made up in your own head, I don't think you're a real judge. I just don't. Especially with how much you willfully ignore the Federalist Papers and what they 
actually said, their real opinions on the parts of the Constitution they passed, and thus those are only the parts that are relevant to the Founding Fathers to begin with. Things like the 13th, 14th, 15th, and subsequent amendments involve future people. And if you're not going to respect what they had to say about it, which the Roberts Court doesn't with the Founding Fathers, didn't with the second Founding Fathers after the Civil War, opinions they willfully ignored with people still alive with the ban on poll taxes just so they can make voting more difficult in states that want less black people to show up to the polls. They made it very transparent. That's the goal, by the way. Let's go onward and upward and focus on solutions for every American. Which, I know, there are billionaires who don't like this. Thought that uh, people could have constructive conversations to do constructive things. And compete against them. And make them have to do work again. Rather than rely on bribes and bribery. Have to do things on their own merits. Imagine a world where Tesla can only succeed because it makes good products. That's the world Kamala Harris wants to build. And that's exactly why if she doesn't win, this site is going to be banned. Because billionaires hate solutions. Republicans hate solutions. They hate making things better because that means they have to do work. Work that everyone watching this video, I'm assuming I don't have a billionaire audience, understands and could use for good and not just for profit tearing illegitimate profit through the means of rent-seeking, which is all Elon Musk and a lot of big tech is anymore. But this is not big tech. This is Blue Sky. This is what my feed looks like when I go on it. It will show first everyone that I'm following. That's the default, I believe. And the site works just fine on a really old laptop, uh, Dell, that's going on 20 years old. The site renders just fine in open source with an open source browser, Zen, which is based on Firefox. It's kind of a repaint of Firefox, but I trust them then way more than I trust the art company with whatever they're doing, because they're not releasing anything about their source code. For all we know, ARC makes money by taking everyone's data and selling it directly to Putin for a direct contribution back, for all we know. And the thing is, open source is why big tech was able to scale up and grow to begin with. I have no doubt that at this point, especially with bros like Elon Musk, they would do everything within their power to roll up that louder so other people can't have it. Other people can't build, learn, grow, and pos prosper. They might find some qu wacky, quacky justification for Banning programming with a prohibitive license fee, and if you're caught programming, even though I technically consider it your Second Amendment right, not technically, it just is for defending your freedom. Just to prevent you from out-competing them and having a better business model. Especially one that is more ethical than anything they could ever do themselves and is competitive and costs a lot less for the end user. Blue Sky is free to sign up. You can get a few extra features. 
that are completely optional, and that's how they're making just enough money to keep the lights on, and that's all they need to do as a public benefit company. As you can see, uh, there's a bunch of feeds, and I can set this up where if I go to bsky.app, the website of this thing, I could put it in another order. I, ha I still have to go over to the side and click notifications. But if I go to my feeds, uh, the first thing I could see is my bangers if I'm somehow on a reputational upswing on this thing. I could have it show art with pause next to it. So furry art, new art, hot art that's popular and includes adult things. That's one great feature. You get to pick what you look at. It's kind of like RSS, but with social media. And Blue Sky is part of the AT protocol, which itself is based on ActivityPub. I'll tell you a bit more about what that means towards the end, but... Look, here's some of my recent posts. And it's very Twitter-like, and the reason for that is because... Elon Musk signed the interface rights of Twitter away to Blue Sky, so it's very familiar. But there are still some things I want you all to keep in mind. Like, if you're going to post something that's not safe for work, it is considered proper etiquette on Blue Sky, enforceable by mods, that you have to mark it not safe for work. It's not optional. If I were to click the pencil icon, the post icon, and have a post with this body, but without clothes, um, it's not going to show up if you just go to votemacbeth.org. The NSFW is turned off if you don't have an account. You cannot see it on my Account. If you're not logged in, and if you are, there is a gearbox. There's a setting where you can block it. You can filter stuff out. You choose what you want to see from a pool of what everyone has to say. And this is a method of social media that... Social media companies like Facebook, commercial, proprietary, are deathly scared of. And Blue Sky making enough money to stay afloat indefinitely threatens the money that's being generated from Facebook. And the reason I'm using Facebook as an example is because Elon Musk is losing tons of money on Twitter that is absolutely coming out of the pockets of Tesla shareholders. When they invest, some of that is taken by Musk and is used to keep Twitter going. Blue Sky isn't like that, though. And if you leave Twitter... Which I did... If you go to votemapback.org, over there, in the Chiron, in orange, it goes to my blue sky. I do not have an active Twitter. I never intend to use the site again. Then it's going to be more money that Musk is going to have to put in and less that he can take out. And if you're wondering, how can this scale? if it gets a bunch of people at once. What the Blue Sky team seems to be doing is figuring it out as they go along. They're definitely figuring it out as they go along. If there is a need to fundraise in a another way, if their line with a little bit of green starts dipping a bit and going into the red, 
they're going to have a paid feature that you don't have to obtain at all to fully enjoy this site, and that'll get it just up into the green again. It's a public benefit company. It's not a nonprofit. It's not like every dollar they make, they have to spend. They can keep a store, so it's a bit more flexible than a 501c. So, like, if there is a huge cyber attack, they could have this big stash, and as a nonprofit, they can't do that. So, yeah, Blue Sky is for profit, but it is also open source ish. Again, I will tell you why that is the absolute best feature in a moment towards the end of the video. And. In the end, I believe that will be the true reason. A lot of you will want to take up my challenge. And what is that challenge? You read the title. Let's scare Elon Musk. Let's all try. Blue Sky. Simultaneously. Just dial back Twitter. Make an account on Blue Sky. Make that your active from today until Thanksgiving. I'll even let you be flexible and decide how you want to approach this challenge. You can post every tweet you make to Blue Sky, or you can abandon Twitter, make it your X entirely until Thanksgiving. And do it for your mental health and get a feel around for it and see if this is truly a better way to do social media. As we all know, nothing tested, nothing believed. And I want you all to test it. Starting today. Today, I challenge you all to ascend to a better way, not just to do social media, but to internet. That's part of what Blue Sky is building. Blue Sky is just a common example of it. The most common. But Blue Sky is one piece of a larger puzzle within an even larger puzzle. Blue Sky has something called the ATS protocol, or AT protocol. What that means is, whatever you put here is owned by you. And you get to decide what happens to that information, and what happens with other people's information. So, if you want to use this as a way to be super 2015 edgelord, you can, but that's not going to scale as well here. The potential audience is the merit of those audi um the merit of what you're trying to do and say with that. With the at protocol, there are more safeguards and a bit more automatic things that are designed to keep everyone on the internet safe and put them in control of the content they want to see and what they don't want to see. So when I hear people complain about furries on Blue Sky, it's really just laziness. If you don't like the chance that an adult image could show in your feed, well, you could turn off adult images, or you can subscribe to a furry block list. Now, these block lists usually have like 110% of the people at least, that need to be on there. You could run into collateral damage. You could run into people on the list that aren't supposed to be on there, which is why I try to avoid using them as much as I can. I understand the need for that feature, but I 
am a man, so the amount of harassment I could get is a much lower baseline. And also, I'll just handle it individually. I just will. I uh, trust my own judgment more than the people curating the block lists. Some of them are crazy accurate, and others are well beyond 110%. And I consider that a minimum. It could be 200, 300. Just an absolute witch hunt that whittles the amount of engagement you could participate in. But the thing is, these block lists are testable and public, so you can see how much further they're taking it than they need to, and if you're willing to accept 10% over and test if they're 10% over or 50 or an unacceptable amount for people who make content on the internet and want to share it, make art and write with the vastly superior human creativity and human speech, which I can't even access. How is it free if I have to sign up to see comments on Governor Walls? If you were really honest about free speech, which Elon Musk never was, and he knew it the whole time, and again, please serve me so we can go through the discovery process and involve Minnesota AG Keith Ellison, he'll make sure it's done in Minnesota and starts here. Please, Elon Musk, I beg you to take me to court and give me the chance to give you the embarrassment of a lifetime. Because that's exactly how I will handle it, as a tool to embarrass you if you dare send papers to my mailing address or have one of your attorneys knock on my door. The only major disappointment up on Blue Sky right now is that Governor Tim Walls, future Vice President Tim Walls, isn't on it. I believe he should be. He should be embracing this as hard as him and the Minnesota Department of Accounts embraced the failing threads. And that's all I really have to say. That's all I really have to say about Blue Sky. It could use some more mainstream things on it. I mean, the internet started as an open platform that a bunch of companies embraced. There is no reason that can't happen with Blue Sky, with the AT protocol, and the Activity Pub protocol that it itself is based on. Uh, consider, consider like the AT protocol to be like the kernel to the operating system that is Activity Pub. That that that, I, that might not make a lot of sense to boomers, but it certainly will to furries. And believe me, furries scare Elon Musk. They work harder than Elon Musk. And part of the reason is he has to pay some of them with super exploitative visas to keep Twitter going. And he is failing at that in every possible way. The only way Twitter will have another two years and indeed, Elon Musk's businesses of any kind is if he is bailed out by another daddy. By Donald Trump, who has never, ever, 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 ever done anything to earn a fraction of a billion dollars with his own worth it work ethic, I mean, it's only because of the apartheid prince's ties to the apartheid king, and the only thing that could save him in America from going to jail is by walking up to more 
daddies that want to do more apartheid. And we have to stop him every way we can, whether it's voting for Kamala Harris, voting for me if you live in Maple Grove, Minnesota. And yes, there is still time to change your ballot. It's a long shot at this point, but if you need to do that for local, there is still a mechanism to do that. It involves going to early in-person voting at Maple Grove Government Center. But, yeah. Blue sky's better. I encourage everyone to try it from now until Thanksgiving, whether you, they're doing it alongside Twitter. And it that would that will be a challenge, because in this challenge, in the rules of this challenge, every tweet has to go on Blue Sky. You have to do both at the same time. And I believe if you do that or just switch over entirely, you're going to enjoy the Blue Sky experience a lot more. Nothing tested, nothing believed. And for anyone that is about to step in, I want to hear your hypothesis on how you believe this will go. Do you believe that if you regularly use Blue Sky, at least as much as Twitter, from now until Thanksgiving. Will you stay on Twitter? Will you take the red pill and continue to go mad? Because of everyone else on Twitter, or do you believe you will choose to stay? Stay on Blue Sky and abandon Twitter entirely. Because until you do that, I'm not going to believe you. And your opinion on the matter. Words aren't enough anymore. I want proof. And in order to get that proof, I want to see some tested. Thanks for watching. And as always, Subscribe if you like, and share if you want to scare Elon Musk. I want proof that you don't like him, too. And that'll be proof enough. You should absolutely make friends with furries. And